Hi everyone, in this video I will teach you how to solve systems of linear and quadratic equations using substitution method. Um, before I begin, I just want to let you know that I also have a video with, sim with this similar topic but the method that I used there was elimination method. So if you want to learn that method, um, might as well watch that video in my YouTube channel. Okay, so let's go now to the first example. I have three examples here for you. Um, we have this system and we need to solve that this system using substitution method. The first thing we need to do is to make sure that both equations are expressed in terms of y, meaning we should isolate y either on the left or on the right side of the equation. But we sh usually, right, we, we isolate the y on the left side, but it doesn't matter. It can be on the left or on the right side. So as you can see, both equations here are not expressed in terms of y, so we need to do some uh, transformation here let's do that uh, in the first equation which is the quadratic equation i will subtract x squared on both sides here because we want the y to be isolated on this side of the equation on the left side so this will give me negative x squared minus 8x minus 15. now the linear equation is also not expressed in terms of y so that means we need to do some uh, transformation here again. I will add x on both sides because we want the y to be isolated on the left side. Okay, so here we go. We have y equals negative x squared minus 8x minus 15. And the linear now is y equals x plus 3. That's the first step. The second step is we will combine those two equations. So how are we going to do that? Okay, so watch this. This is the substitution method. I will write that linear here, linear expression on the right side, that's x plus 3. And notice what I will do here. I will replace the y of that linear equation by the y of the quadratic equation. So I will have here on the left side, negative x squared minus 8x minus 15. Why is that? Because according to this quadratic equation on the left, y is equal to that expression, right? So both exp expressions are um, expressed in, ter in terms of y, so we can combine those two because they are equal. y equals y, right? The next thing we will do, so step number one, make sure that both equations are expressed in terms of y. Um, step number two, um, do the substitution. Step number three, um, we will express this equation into the standard form of the quadratic equation. So which means I will subtract x and 3 on both sides. So that will be equal to 0. And then this will become negative x squared minus 9x minus 18. Okay. Now, what, look at the leading term of this quadratic equation, negative x squared, okay? Usually, what I want is that x squared to be positive, okay? Um, so, what I will do is I will multiply each term by negative 1. So, this will become x squared plus 9x plus 18 is equal to 0. Now, when you look at this quadratic equation, I think this is fact... Uh, can be factorized, okay? So let's check. Think about two numbers that when multiplied, the answer is 18, and when added, the answer is 9. Multi two numbers that when multiplied, the answer is 18, and when added, the answer is positive 9. I will give you five seconds. Okay, that is right. Those numbers are 3, and 6. Both are positive. So positive 3 times positive 6 will give you positive 18. Positive 3 plus positive 9 will give you positive 9. Okay? Positive 3 plus positive 6 equals positive 9. And then the next thing we will do here is we will solve for x, equate both factors to 0 and solve for x. So subtract 3, subtract 3. The first value of x is negative 3. And then the second will be um, negative 6. There you go. So since we have two values of x here, that means we have two values of y also. Okay, so if, if, if x equals negative 3, 
and then the other one is if x equals negative 6. So if x equals negative 3, what will be the value of our y? So we can use either of the two equations, but let's use the uh, easier one, the linear equation. Um, negative 3, replace that x by negative 3. So y is equal to 0, which means that the first point or the first solution is negative 3, 0. The next would be negative 6 uh, plus 3. It's negative 3. That's our y, second y, which means that if x equals negative 6, our y is negative 3. Okay? So that's the first example. Let's go to the second example. Again, step number one, you need to make sure that both equations are expressed in terms of y. Here, obviously, they are not expressed in terms of y. So we will do some transformation here again. Let's do that on the first equation. I will subtract 3x on both sides here. This will be equal to y equals negative x squared minus 3x plus 2. Now, we will also do that here in our linear equation. Um, plus x and plus 6 on both sides. Okay. So, we can cross that out. This will give us y equals x plus 6. Okay. So, if you remember what we did earlier, we will now use substitution method here. I will write first the, exp the linear expression here on the right side. And I will replace y by the quadratic expression. So negative x squared minus 3x plus 2. And then um, the next step is we will convert or transform this into the standard form of um, quadratic equation. So I will subtract x and subtract 6 on both sides. This will, be give, this will give me negative x squared minus 4x minus 4 equals 0. Now, as you can see, our x here, x squared here is again negative. Um, that doesn't usually the case, okay? But if your x squared is negative, uh, multiply each term by negative 1, okay? This will give us x squared plus 4x plus 4 equals 0. And then let's do the factoring here to solve for x. Again, think about two numbers. That when multiplied, the answer is 4. And when added, the answer is 4 also. I think that's easy. The numbers are 2 and 2. 2 and 2. And then since they are identical, I will just solve this one on the right side. To solve for x, that will give us this number, x equals negative 2. Since x is only 1, that means we will only be having 1y. So x equals negative 2. I will use the uh, linear equation again. So is it always linear, Mr. Ricare? Well, um, you can actually use the um, quadratic, but of course, it's easier to solve for y using the, um, the linear equation. So this is negative 2 plus 6, um, which is equal to 4. Which means that our only solution is at negative four, uh, negative two and four. Okay. There you go. Let's go. Let's go to the uh, uh, third example. Again, both equations are not expressed in terms of y, so I will transform each equation into y equals. Okay, we should isolate y on either side of the equation. So I will subtract 3 on both sides here. And that will give me y equals 2x squared plus 5x minus 3. Now the second is again not expressed in terms of y. So we need to add 2x here on both sides. And that will give us 2x minus 1. And let's do the substitution method now. I will write the first expression here, 2x minus 1, the linear. And I will replace the y by the uh, quadratic expression here on the left side. And then after this, we need to convert this or transform this into the 
standard form of quadratic equation by subtracting 2x on both sides and adding 1 on both sides. So that will give us 2x squared plus 3x minus 2. Okay, so here, um, since the uh, leading uh, coefficient, the leading numerical coefficient is not equal to 1, it's positive 2, it's hard to, you know, check if this is, if this quadratic equation can be factorized or, or not. We can, you know, use trial and error here. But let's use the, uh, the more direct method, uh, the universal method of solving the uh, a linear uh, quadratic equation la rather, and that is the quadratic formula. Okay, you can use also completing the square if you want, but let's just use the quadratic formula here to solve for x. Okay, so because if we use factoring and we do the trial and error method and we're not successful, um, we're just wasting our time. We're just wasting our time. So let's just go straight to quadratic formula to solve for x. Okay. Um. So to do that, uh, we need to identify A, B, and C here. A is number 2, B is 3, and C is negative 2. Now, for those of you who uh, forget about that um, or can't remember the um, quadratic formula, it's negative B plus minus square root of B squared minus 4AC divided by 2A. Let's write it here x equals negative b plus and minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. That's the quadratic equation. So let's do that here. Okay, here. Um, negative b, so that's... Mm, negative 3 plus and minus the square root of um, 3 squared minus 4 times a times c okay divided by 2 times 2 so let's just check if our substitution is correct our a or our b is 3 so that's negative 3 3 square b square minus 4 times a which is 2 c is negative 2 2 times a and a is 2 okay so let's continue this will be negative 3 this will be equal to 9. And so what I usually do after this is I count the number of negative signs. If I see two negative signs, I put plus. If I see one or three, I put minus after the three square. So after the three square, I see two negative signs. That will be plus. And then I will just multiply the numbers. 4 times 2 times 6. That will give me 16 all over 4. Okay. So we know that 9 plus 16 is 25. And of course, we also know that the square root of 25 is 5. So that means this will give us um, negative 3 plus 5. Now we will separate the plus and minus here. Negative 3 plus 5 over 4, which is equal to 2 over 4. Now let's simplify that. That's 1 half. This one value of x. The second is... Um, negative 3 minus 5 all over 4. This is negative 8 over 4, which is equal to negative 2. So again, we have two values of x here. So which means we will also be having two values of y if x equals 1 half. And the other one is if x equals negative 2. And I will use the uh, linear equation here. Again, there you go. So this is 2 times 1 half minus 1. We cross out the 2. That will give us 1 minus 1, which is equal to 0. That's our y. So which means if x is 1 half, our y is 0. Okay, let's have the second one. 2 times negative 2 minus 1. This is negative 4 minus 1, which is equal to negative 5. So if x equals negative 2, our y is negative 5, which means it, this is negative 2 and negative 5. So um, there you go. These are the three problems. Uh, 
But now to solve systems of linear equation using uh, substitution method. Okay? So I hope you learned this method and please also watch the elimination method and compare which one do you think is better. Um, you can use that in a test or in a quiz because, uh, of course, if the teacher will tell you use the substitution method, use the substitution method. If the teacher will tell you use the elimination method, you use the elimination method, okay? So, but if the teacher tells you that um, you can use either, then, you know, check which one do you think is easier. Okay, so much for that. Thank you for watching.